Hi everyone, I'm Jess Wilkinson, the Educational Technology Officer at Teaching and Learning at Conestoga. And today's tech tip is going to focus in on um, a specific question that one of the faculty here gave to me, which is how can I structure uh, agreement or disagreement questions using Mentimeter? So Mentimeter is a tool that I've been um, showing faculty at Conestoga for, for about a year now. And it's a completely free tool that you can um, sign up for online at menti.com. And what I'm going to show you is three ways that you could structure agreement or disagreement questions in a Mentimeter presentation. And um, all of these are, like I said, within the free version. So feel free to experiment and adjust or offer your own suggestions, uh, maybe in the comments section or uh, here on social media. So I'm going to kick off with just kind of showing you three examples of how you could construct those questions and then you take it wherever you would like to in your teaching. So I'm here in Mentimeter and you can see I've got three example slides that I'm about to show you. And the first agreement or disagreement slide is probably the most obvious. You could set up agree or disagree questions just using statements on a multiple choice question type. Um, you could add the statements below the multiple choice bars and then um, ask students to select statements if they agree with them and not select them if they don't agree. Uh, an alternative would be to have multiple agree or disagree multiple choice selection slides, but we have to keep in mind that in the free version of Mentimeter, you're limited to only two questions. So can you get everything that you need to know from your students uh, with only two questions? Using the, the titles of the bars and just asking them to check if they agree will let you kind of use this question a little bit more flexibly. So that's one way that you could set up a multiple choice question uh, as your agree or disagree. However, uh, my clearest recommendation would actually be to use the scales question type. Uh, and use almost like a Likert scale to be able to create uh, a range of strong disagreement to strong agreement when you set up that question type. So select the scales and then in the content, um, title the slide, write your statements, and down here at the bottom in the dimensions, just change the labels to uh, strong agreement or strong disagreement. And then you can see I can put in, you know, four or five statements and ask students to rate the level at which they disagree. And then when you have results on the slide too, it shows you the general trends and where the responses fall in addition to the median. So this one actually can be quite a, a powerful uh, tool to use to indica indicate overall agreement or disagreement. Another way that you can kind of gauge agreement or disagreement to statements is to be perfectly honest in the types of slides to scroll down to the bottom and just use the text slides. So these ones are almost like uh, true PowerPoint substitutes. There's very little interactivity to them. You can't ask a question on these slide types, but the perk to them is that you can have as many of them as you want in a presentation. So if you took, say for example, uh, this one is a paragraph slide. On that paragraph slide, when you're setting up the content, you can create a, a question, agree or disagree with the following statement, put the statement into the text on the slide, and then use the thumbs up or the thumbs down button to ask people to vote their agreement or disagreement. And this one is probably a pretty high value because it presents, you know, nice limited amount of text on a slide, very accessible. It's just a quick like or don't like button. And like I said, you can have as many of those as you would like in your, in your Mentimeter presentation. So if you need five or seven statements, then you could have five or seven of these slides and just turn on the like or dislike button instead of using the heart like button. So I think that there's some flexibility in terms of how you could build agree or disagree statements in Mentimeter. Uh, that said, you know, Poll Everywhere has some options. Plickers has some options. Uh, Socrative may have some options. Tell me what you're doing with these and I'll be really interested in hearing some of the interesting things that you're doing in your teaching. 
So that's my tech tip for this Tuesday. I hope it helps out and uh, I hope it answers some questions. Thank you all.